All right, what is going on, everybody? My name is Shlo, back to the channel. Today, we're going to be talking about the top five die machine weapons in Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War. Let's get right into it, baby. You can realistically rank these three different ways. One, for high rounds. Two, for the Easter egg. And three, for just the overall aspect of the guns. That is going to be the one that we're going to be doing for this video. The overall aspect. Then, let's get into it. In our number five spot, we're going to have the fire upgrade. It is complete trash. Like, I, I don't understand. If you pick this, if you pick up this weapon, I just, I don't even know, bro. You must have something wrong with you or something because this gun does not kill anything. Even on low rounds, this thing's not even good. It does decent damage on the Megaton, but when it can't kill a single zombie, it ain't it. You'll shoot it into a whole horde of zombies and it'll kill like the first like three or four zombies. How does that make any sense? The Wonder Weapon. Are you kidding me? Just like, look at this. Look how bad this thing is. It's actually ridiculous. If you're picking up the fire upgrade, bro, just... Please do something else with your life, bro. Fuck. Down to our number four spot. We're going to put the Cairo Freeze there. It's actually not that bad of a wonder weapon. I actually kind of like it. It freezes down the zombies and slows them down as well as the Megaton, but it doesn't really kill them pretty fast. It doesn't have as much ammo as the other ones. And overall, it's just a pretty average wonder weapon. Nothing really too exciting about it. High rounds, you're not going to get too much use for it. I mean, you run out of ammo really quick and the suction thing for all of them just realistically cannot catch anything. So, I would give it a solid 4th place finish. Moving on to a 3rd place finish, we're moving on to the gas or the poison upgrade. This one's realistically more suited for high rounds considering it doesn't really kill the megatons at all, quite frankly. The e strike is pretty good for the boss fight, for keeping up all the zombies. So it's an overall really good weapon if you know how to use it correctly. You gotta kinda train all the zombies to get them through the smoke and all that stuff, so. Really not bad, it can insta-kill for a long time as well. But you guys be very patient with this one weapon and this upgrade. So that's why it's gonna be taking our number three spot on the list. Down to our number two spot, you won't believe it. The base upgrade, a lot of people are starting to love the base upgrade. A lot better than a lot of these other ones it's literally a better version of the fire upgrade it doesn't make any sense to me it absolutely doesn't it has less ammo i'll give it that it has less ammo than the fire one it actually kills hordes of zombies unlike the fire one at all once you get to higher rounds you have to get closer to the zombie to actually kill them but that's just fine and dandy all it takes is just getting an extra step or two closer again it's great for megatons and overall that's why i give it to the number two spot man that thing is really good Great for high rounds, great for the Easter egg, great for literally almost anything. And here's the one you guys were waiting for, the number one spot. I think a lot of people will either put the number two or the number one for this one. And that's what I put the electric upgrade to the Dime Machine weapon. The thing is insane. It's ridiculous. It's got the most ammo, puts out the most damage to the Megatons. At least in my experience, it kills them the fastest. It does decent damage to the zombies. And once again, like I said, it has the most ammo. So you can refill and use it for the longest. It's actually ridiculous. It's great for high rounds, it's great for the easter egg, it's great for just playing around. Literally, there's not a single aspect of this gun that isn't bad. Fantastic wonder weapon, and then realistically, this is how all of them should be. Realistically. And that's gonna be the top five. I hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure to drop a like, comment, subscribe if you guys enjoyed it, like I said. And yeah, as always, it's your Slayer, and I'm out. Peace.